Okay, really? live stream is up. Sergeant Hope, if you could uh, record to the cloud, please. Recording started. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the committee to the committee vote on aging. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video? Once again, would all panelists please turn on your video? To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. Good morning. We're joined by uh, Council Member Eugene, Council Member Deutsch, Traeger, Valone, and Council Member Ayala. Today, the Aging Committee will vote on our long awaited age discrimination package. This is a historic package of legislation that seeks to address and help combat a prevalent issue that will affect all of us age discrimination in the workplace. The committee will vote today specifically on intro 1693A, uh, proposed intro 1694A, and proposed intro 1695A, all of which I am proud to sponsor. Proposed intro 1693A would require two things. First, it would require the Department for the Aging, DIFTA, to provide guidance and support to the Center for Older Workforce Development as created by proposed intro 1694A. And second, the bill would require the existing charter created DIFTA Advisory Council to develop recommendation on how the city can address age discrimination in the workplace and help develop the older worker adult workforce. In addition to yearly report that the advisory council already submit to the mayor every two years, the advisory council now would be required um, to submit a comprehensive report to the mayor, the speaker, and the Center for Older Workforce Development <clears throat> on age discrimination and how to better develop the older adult workforce. The advisory committee would be required to submit this biannual, biannual report with its recommendation and finding starting December 2021. Next, proposed intro 1694A would create an office dedicated to combating ageism in the workplace and to developing the older workforce. This new office called the Center for Older Workforce Development would be established and placed by the mayor and have such duties and power as advising and assisting the mayor in coordinating agencies involved in the workforce development programs for older adults, assisting older adults to join or rejoin the workforce, creating a centralized workforce development website for older adults and promoting the inclusion and retention of older workers in the municipal workforce. The center would additionally be, in, be required to submit an annual report to the mayor and to the city council on its activities. Finally, proposed intro 1695A would require the New York City Commission on Human Rights to conduct a two year study related to age discrimination in the workplace beginning January, 2022 for a period of two years. CCHR would design and implement a variety of methods to assess and pres the presence of age discrimination in the workplace, including by looking at workplace and employment practices, technology and, po and policies. The bill would also require CCHR to include in its annual report, the finding of the two year age discrimination in the workplace study 
and to submit the report to the speaker on or before September 30th, 2024. Age discrimination in the workplace is a real issue, although it does not receive much attention. Its impact a large majority of older adults. In fiscal year 2019, for example, age discrimination account for 21.4% of all complaints made to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. That's more than 15,000 age discrimination complaint filed. And it's not just a national problem. As reported by the New York City Commission on Human Rights, of the 125 queries that they receive about age discrimination in fiscal year 20, 92 of them, or 72%, were specifically related to age discrimination in employment. This is unacceptable and simply cannot happen. Our city's older workers are among the most experienced and knowledgeable worker in New York City. They serve as an invaluable asset to the workforce. It is extremely important that we understand the issue fully and protect them from unfair and illegal discrimination. And I believe that this age discrimination package is a step forward in doing just that. I also want to congratulate um, Council Member Ayala. She also has two bills um, in this package, uh, but it's not voted on at this committee. Uh, so together we have five bills uh, working on age discrimination. And I also wanted to uh, thank all the advocates and of course our committee council, Newsart, uh, Chadari, for uh, really working hard negotiating this um, along with you know, Kalima and my legislative team uh, on this. And hopefully we will really draw a lot more attention uh, to this age discrimination, because people think that, oh, discrimination against older workers, and you're talking about seniors who are 60s or, or in their 70s. No, it starts as early as 40s. And we had a wonderful hearing last year, and I'm so glad that we're finally uh, coming to a vote. And I thank all my colleagues uh, for your support. And are there any uh, questions on the comments before uh, we call the vote? Otherwise, I will ask the clerk uh, to open the vote. Good morning. William Martin, committee clerk, will call vote committee on aging. The bills are coupled. Chair Chin. I vote I don't know. Eugene. You're muted, council member. Council member Eugene. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Deutsch. I know. Traeger. Aye. Valone. Well done, Chair Chin. Another major victory. I proudly vote aye. Thank you. Ayala. Congratulations, Chair Chin, and I vote aye as well. By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Should we stay open for a few minutes uh, for other council member? I thought council member Traeger was on. I believe council member Diaz is the outstanding committee member. Oh, okay. So do we have to keep the vote open or? Uh, Chair, we can keep it open for a couple of minutes if you'd like. Okay, maybe we wait another five minutes. Yep. <coughs>
Oh, this cold weather is just too much. <laughs> Did they vote uh, on the Human Rights Committee already or the... I think Council so Member Ayala's bill was... Oh, that's next, oh, okay. That committee followed, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we could uh, close the hearing because Council Member Diaz is not available. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you can adjourn. Hearing is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.